Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we'll talk about routing in Framework 7, which was a topic which got requested by a lot of users. Now, what is the router and what's its purpose in Framework 7? Um, like in many other frameworks, um, the router will basically tell your application what it has to display based on the URL. For, for example, if uh, we have a website, um, and in our demo application today, we create a, a menu for a restaurant and our restaurant will be called CityWalk. <laughs> and um, there will be a page on the, um, on the front, like, like, like a homepage. Um, and this will uh, display all the, all the dishes that, that are available on our restaurant. And when you click it, we'll switch to a new page uh, which will be available under slash dish and it will, it will basically display the food. Now what the router in this case does is it tells your app what it will display when you go to slash and it will tell the app what it's going to display when you go to slash dish. Okay and how you do that is um, you will define a file called roads.js. Usually this one's already defined in most Framework 7 templates. And as you can see, we already have defined two paths here. The first one is for the home page, so this is why we see this thing here. Um, and it basically maps the the root path to a component which is called home page which we import from here. Okay, uh, let's open this one. And this is a Vue.js uh, template which will just display a page from Framework 7 and the title, which is embedded into an off bar over here and just a block. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, not much to show you and besides that. Um, we also have a second path, which is basically the default. So um, whenever Framework 7 or Vue um, uh, finds a path which does not exist yet, so anything else than the slash, then will show an error page, which is defined here. So. Uh, this is the not found page over here and we can open that too and as you can see this is just an error page so if I go to slash something um, it will display um, an error actually it shouldn't display this what is it do? oh okay I know why um, so you shouldn't do this um, I'm going to explain in a few seconds why this didn't work. So as you have seen, as you have seen um, this is just an, um, an error from the web server. It's not what we were displaying here. And the reason for that is we have not um, uh, configured Framework 7 yet to map the URLs to the components. Um, but we, what we can do is, uh, for example, uh, let's say if we have a link here and let's just create a list as always, oops, uh, and this will have a title. And let's link it to somewhere, okay? Somewhere we don't know. And close the tag. Okay, let's save it. There we have a link and I click it. So now this is the page that um, that we have defined in our roots page here, this year, the not found page. And if you open it, see, it says, sorry, requested content not found. And this is what we're seeing here. Now the question is, why isn't this not shown when when I directly try to access it? 
And the reason for this is uh, we need to activate something that's push state. So let's check the framework seven um, documentation for push state. Here. Uh, push state. Oh no, that's not it. Uh, we won. Here, road options. Um, and what this will do, it will create a direct link between what's displayed in the URL bar of your browser and what's shown in your application. Uh, you need to manually enable this, uh, otherwise it's not gonna work. So in order to turn this on, there's a trick. You can go to app.view in our case, and you can able, enable this uh, for each view. So uh, in our app, we just have one main view, uh, which is this one, and app.view. And you turn this on by um, setting push, whoops, push state equals true, and save it. And when we when we uh, navigate to a site now, it will update the, the URL bar. So let's say I copy this and open this in a new tab. See, it will directly route us to the, to the error page. So now we have basically a deep linking feature enabled. And yeah, let's go on. Um, next thing, we're gonna do is, as an example, um, we're gonna create a new page. Uh, and what we want is, um, basically we want a list of dishes here. And when you click it, we want to get to a page which is called dish. So we a new route here. And on this page, uh, we want additional information about the food. So uh, we call it dish, save it. So it's gonna complain that, or even show nothing. Actually, I should turn on DevTools. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so now it's complaining. Um, dish is not defined. Okay, no problem. Um, that's because we have no page yet. So I'm just gonna duplicate. Um, there's no duplicate here? Okay, so I'm just gonna create a new file here then and call it uh, dish.view. And I think we can leave most of the stuff here, so uh, let's export uh, an empty view instance and we give the page a title so we tell it to be called um, I don't know food details um, we don't need this and we don't need a list, let's save it. So it's still saying dish is not defined. Now, why is that? Let's open the roads.js. Yeah, we have to import it. Okay, so the new uh, component is called dish and we import it from, sorry, pages slash dish.view. Save it. Okay. <laughs> so for some reason it's it's using the iOS theme now. Oh, that's why we have to, um, we're using the iPhone emulator. Yeah, whatever, why not? Okay, so now if we go to slash dish, uh, actually it should, 
Oh, okay. Okay, this is a really tricky one. See the slash at the end here. This one's very, very important. So um, don't forget the slash. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Oh, still not. Why not? Oh, there we go. See, full details. And this is the the page that uh, we were displaying. Okay, next we're gonna need some uh, actual da data that we can display, so. Um, but before we go on, we're just gonna do a quick little break and see you in the next episode.